morning. Of Dr. Teresa Seavers and one of the men who's confessed to killing her, Curtis Wright, both taking the witness stand today in the trial of doctor of the doctor's husband, Mark Seavers. He's accused of hiring Wright, his best friend, and another man to kill his own wife. She was beat to death with hammers in the middle of the night in their home in Benita Springs. Let's get right to our colleagues, Jane Monreal, Sandra Rodriguez. They are live at the Lee County Courthouse now with the latest on what happened today. Jane. Patrick, of course, the other man, Jimmy Rogers, was convicted last month on second degree murder. Curtis Wainwright took the stand yesterday for the prosecution. This morning, the defense started with him and they uh, were relentless. Absolutely. They really wanted to drill in the point that Curtis had lied to detectives in the previous statements and pointing out what was part of this plea agreement that it was the only thing that got him to confess the names of Rogers and Mark Seavers. And one of those, the one of the parts of that agreement was that he would agree to take a lie detector test and when the defense questioned him as to if he had taken the lie detector test this is what happened and to date to this date you have never taken a polygraph about this case have you i offered to that wasn't what i asked you have never taken a polygraph in this case have you wasn't asked to that wasn't what no. i asked the defense pretty much saying that was not what the question here. Is it the simple yes or no? Exactly. And they were really pointing out at the lies that he had given to detectives. One of those lies was how he was in Missouri during the weekend of the murder and how he even manipulated four of his neighbors to sign an affidavit saying that he was indeed in Missouri. Curtis said that he confused them with the dates to get them to do that. OK, and did they, have, we, have we talked or heard from the neighbors at all? We have not. All right. Very emotional, though, from the sister as well. Well, she took the stand uh, and said that this would have been her 51st birthday the day the jury was set on Tuesday. Exactly. She would have turned 51 on that day. And this was the first time that the jury got to see a picture of Teresa Seavers while she was alive. Previously, it was just photographs of her already deceased in her kitchen floor. Take a look. This is my beautiful sister, Teresa. As you said, and introduce her to the jury. Very sad there, and then she went back to her mom. As soon as she was very briefly on the stand, got off, went directly to give a hug to her mom. Both of them sat there, very emotional, her mom crying, just heartbreaking to watch. Oh, and she still lives in Connecticut, the fam. They were celebrating the mom's birthday up there. They were in New York, actually, New York. celebrating the birthday, and then once Teresa flew back to Florida, Curtis Wright, with, I mean, I'm sorry, Mark Seavers with the two daughters went to Connecticut with the mom. All right, we'll talk more about Dr. Petritus, Teresa's husband, been, I mean, Teresa's friend who talked to Mark Sievers, the husband. And who found Teresa's body inside of the first home. First thing, yes. A lot of uh, peculiarities in that uh, scene when he first arrived in the Bonita Springs home. All right, Sandra, we'll talk, we'll talk at 530. In the meantime, you can catch up with this full coverage on the Mark Sievers trial from the beginning. That's on our website, fox4now.com or the Fox 4 app. We will continue to update our Fox 4 Twitter and Facebook pages. Live in downtown Fort Myers for Sandra Rodriguez, I'm Jane Monreal, Fox 4 in your corner.